Hi welcome back to our channel in this video, I will tell you about hello and welcome to my video on the last voyage of the Demeter. How Andre Overidal reinvents Dracula's legend. In this video, I will talk about the upcoming horror film that is based on a chapter from Bram Stoker's classic novel Dracula, and how the director Andre Overidal brings a fresh and thrilling perspective to the vampire myth. The Last Voyage of the Demeter is a film that tells the story of the merchant ship Demeter, which was chartered to carry 50 unmarked wooden crates from Carpathia to London. The crates contained the soil and the coffin of Count Dracula, the infamous vampire who had left his homeland in search of new victims. The film follows the terrifying events that befell the doomed crew as they attempt to survive the ocean voyage, stalked each night by a merciless presence on board the ship. When the Demeter finally arrived near Whitby Harbor, it was a charred derelict wreck. There was no trace of the crew. The film is an adaptation of The Captain's Log, a chapter from Bram Stoker's 1897 novel Dracula, which consists of a series of diary entries by the captain of the Demeter. The chapter is one of the most chilling and mysterious parts of the novel, as it hints at the horrors that occurred on the ship, but leaves much to the imagination of the reader. The film expands on this chapter and shows what actually happened on the ship, revealing the fate of each crew member and their encounters with Dracula. The film is directed by Andre Overidal, a Norwegian film director and screenwriter who is best known for his films Trollhunter, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, and Scary Stories to Tell in Dark. Overidal is a master of creating suspenseful and atmospheric horror films that combine realism and fantasy. He has a knack for finding new ways to scare and surprise his audience, while also exploring themes such as folklore, history, and human nature. Overidal has said that he was inspired by films such as Alien, the Thing and The Shining, which are all claustrophobic and isolated horror films that feature a group of people trapped in a hostile environment with an unknown enemy. He has also said that he wanted to make a film that was faithful to Bram Stoker's novel but also added his own vision and style to it. He has described the film as basically alien on a ship in 1897. The film stars Corey Hawkins as Clemens, a doctor who joins the Demeter. Aisling Franciosi as Anna an unwitting stowaway, Liam Cunningham as Captain Elliot, the captain of the Demeter, David Dasmalkian as Wojcik, the first mate, Javier Botet as Dracula, and Woody Norman as Toby, a young boy who is fascinated by Dracula's coffin. The cast also includes John John Briones, Stefan Kapisic, Nikolay Nikolaev, Martin Furland, Chris Wally, Nicolo Pacetti, Sally Reeve, and Rudolf Danielovics. The film is scheduled to be released in the United States on August 11, 2023, by Universal Pictures. It is expected to be one of the most anticipated and original horror films of the year, as it offers a new take on one of the most iconic and influential characters in literature and cinema, Count Dracula. If you are a fan of horror films, or if you are curious about how Andre Overidal reinvents Dracula's legend, you should definitely check out The Last Voyage of the Demeter when it comes out. It promises to be a thrilling and terrifying journey that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about the last voyage of the Demeter and Andre Overdell's approach to Dracula's legend. I would love to hear your opinions and thoughts. Until next time, stay safe and have a great day. Thanks for watching please like, share and give feedback.